you guys know it's time for a pattern review as part of the skirt series. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. Hey everyone, oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Now this is part of the skirt series. This is the next skirt in the skirt series. I don't know what number it is, just to be honest with you, but if you are new to the channel, oh, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, bonjour. If you are returning, you know what to do. Go get you something to drink real quick so I could take you on this pattern review with me. And while you're doing that, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review with the paperback skirt utilizing McCall 7932. All right, so let's go ahead and get right on into the pattern description. All right, so for this pattern, it is a loose fitting skirt, has drawstring paper bag waist, also has a casing, a drawstring side seam pocket, and length and fabric variations. Now, I did view C on this pattern and it is amazing, okay? This skirt is super, amazing if I do say so myself. Now view B has kind of like a color block situation going on right here. And then for view C, you have like the scallop lacing type detail going on. I did not do any of that at all. I just used one fabric and I'm gonna tell you all about that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the skill level. So the skill level for this pattern is super easy. This is beginner friendly, super easy, okay? <laughs> super easy to sew. Now. Let's talk about one thing before I go any further. Now, if you remember back in March, Talisha from Creativity by T, my girl Talisha, she did this for hashtag sewing five and below. However, I did not want to skip around in my skirt series because I already had this skirt slotted for the paperback skirt. I seen this back then and I told Talisha back then that this is one of the skirts that's part of my skirt series. So I thought that was hilarious, but Talisha also has a pattern review on her channel. So you can go over there and see that as well after you see what I'm going to tell you all about this pattern. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the notions used. So the notions used for this pattern, there's no notions. Okay. None. Thread. That's all you need. You don't even need interfacing. You don't need elastic. You do not need anything but your sewing machine and some thread. All right. So I like that even better. Let's go ahead and talk about the fabric used. So for this pattern, I'm going to put the fabric up on the screen, but it is kind of like a cotton fabric from Joanne. Now I did not purchase this fabric. This fabric was gifted to me by a friend who no longer wanted it. So yeah. However, I'm going to put the name of the fabric when it was sent to me off of the invoice that she just basically sent it directly to me. So yeah, I know if I needed, wanted to return it or anything, you know, I knew what the name of the fabric is. So I'm just going to put it up on the screen as well as in the description box below. All right. So let's talk about pattern pieces. So listen, I said it was hashtag sewing five and below. So this pattern is five pattern pieces for the five and below series. All right. So this is not a five and below series. <laughs> and before you even ask me anything about when is it coming back, Talisha and I will disclose that at a different time, but just not in this video or anything because we are still talking about it. All right. So just to be clear, we are still talking about sewing five and below season two. So I don't want anyone to think that this is kind of like a, you know, start of something right now. It's not, I'm just doing this pattern review. All right. So, um, pattern pieces is five. You have your front, your front, your back, your pocket, your casing, and your drawstring. That's it. It's super simple to sew. All right. So no, I don't feel like this needs to have a sew along for it because I feel like if you could do pleats, if you could sew on a casing, and if you could do a drawstring, put on some pockets and sew some side seams, you're good to go. 
You don't need to sew along for that, right? <laughs> All right. Let's talk about pattern sizing. So for pattern sizing, it comes in two separate envelopes. So the first envelope is extra small to medium. The second envelope is large to extra large. Mm, yeah, the size that I cut was a large. Now, let me tell you, I'm pretty sure I could have gotten away with a medium, okay? However, this pattern does not give you any finished garment measurements, which for me was a little, weird because I'm used to having some type of, you know, measuring going on. So this is a super boxy style, I guess you could pretty much say, because it's like a square rectangle or whatever that you will be cutting. But how you tighten up your skirt is through the drawstring and the casing. You just basically pull the drawstring and tie it. You will see that in the photos, all right? Let's talk about the size. I did talk about the size that I cut, which was a large um, modifications. I did not make any modifications to this. Now, however, I do want to go in and put some beads on the drawstring portion. So I did take my skirt off so you can see it because I don't see what's the point of sitting down doing a pattern review with the skirt on because you can't see it, okay? So I just took it off so you could see it and just put on some um, jeans for right now. But this is the skirt right here. I still need to hem it at the bottom, um, but I did take photos because I needed to get these photos done before work okay so it was early in the morning and it was before work so I went ahead and got these photos done early um, this morning however I do want to add some beads to the end of the um, drawstring there and then I think what I'm going to do is instead of just surging it and hemming it I think I'm going to do bias tape at the hem um, and I think that would be pretty cool because I have a lot of this fabric left over I could still make a top I do not have enough to make some pants which was what I was really going for after I sewn this skirt but it's not enough it's enough to make shorts not enough to make some pants so I think what I'm going to do is just do a top to go with the skirt so yeah, stay tuned for that, all right? Um, let's go ahead and talk about, did it look like the photos or the drawing on the pattern envelope? Yes, it does. It looks exactly like the model on the envelope cover. Um, this one right here, even though I didn't do a, the color block, but it looks exactly like this lady right here, all right? Are the instructions easy to follow? To be honest, I glance at the instructions just for the sake of this so along, not so along, but just as for the sake of this pattern review. Um, and it was easy to follow. Like, I think the only portion that I actually glanced at the instructions for was how to do the top. Um, and the top portion right here is a little different because um, from the top to the casing part is four and five eighths. You need to fold in the seam allowance of five eighths of an inch and then you have four inches um between the top and that casing so yeah that's about the only time that i actually looked at the direction everything else you really don't need the directions to be honest with you you know what i'm saying so yeah that's about the only time i looked at the instructions and the instructions are easy to follow let's talk about likes and dislikes there's no dislikes whatsoever i love this pattern i will sew this pattern again yeah that's it for <laughs> likes and dislikes First time experiences. Um, first time experience would be to sew a paperback skirt. I have never sewn one. So this week has been a lot of first times, okay? I have never sewn a paperback skirt. Well, take that back. Not a skirt, but I have done a paperback shorts and pants. I just have never done a skirt. So this would be the first time that I have done a paperback skirt, all right? All right, so let's talk about when I sew this pattern again. Absolutely, this is a quick, easy pattern. Now, let me tell you. It took me three hours total. That's from cutting the pattern, cutting the fabric, and sewing. Who would have known? It would have took me three hours to do. So Talisha, thank you so much. Even though it was already on the list and we talked about that during Five and Below season one, but she, she was absolutely correct that it just took a few hours to do this pattern, all right? So she was my guinea pig in order for me to do it, all right? <laughs> all right, enough about that. Let's talk about what I recommend this pattern to other. Absolutely. If I did it and Talisha did it, 
you can do it, okay? So yeah, definitely, I would recommend this pattern to other. So let's go ahead and talk about my pattern rating. Come on, I don't need to even give you a pattern rating simply because this pattern is a five out of five for the five and below, y'all. So yes. Now, I'm pretty sure this pattern is out of print in the Joann's um, drawers. However, I will say that I believe that it is still available on Something Delightful website. If you cannot pick it up in stores, Something Delightful always have those $3.99, $4.99 sales. You can get it then, or you can get it in the digital form. Now, let me tell you, because this is five pattern pieces, digital form would not be bad to get this pattern, okay? So I'm just gonna put it out there because I cut a large and it's not too big, but I think I want to get the pattern in a extra small, medium size range. So I think I, if I cannot find it in my local joints during the next McCall sale, I will definitely get it on the Something Delightful website in digital form um, and go from there, okay? <laughs> But that's it for the pattern review. I hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, hey, okay. you Let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hoe. This ain't a foe. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door.